What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a... GameStop with an interior. Now, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone this, even though I might be telling like 20 people. Still, don't tell anyone this. I mean, kid. This title is a tiny bit clickbait. I will get to that in a second. It's not nothing too bad then. By the way, the more I look at this, the less I like it. So I'm probably gonna show you how to build it all the way. Unless you like this design, I will also show you how to do that as well. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just kind of grown off of me. The more I look at it, the more my opinion varies on it. That's really what I have to say. I mean, inside here is the interior. I will show it to you. And now I will get to why the title. Actually, let me add something really quick. The title is a little bit clickbait because of this. I show you, I will show you the dimensions that I give for this. However, I don't actually, ha I've not actually interiorized it. I've only floored it and I have done everything that I need to do. I will tell you what the rooms are for and what you need in them. But other than that, now this is broken up into four, I don't, well the exterior is broken up into two steps. Three, I think, actually. And the interior is broken up into plenty of steps. Two, I think. So this basically means a 29 by 29. The light gray wool represents either a door or glass blocks along the floor. That is because that is the floor material, and I do not feel like doing that later. So, materials we're needing. Now, this is part one. This is for this part right here and that's it so you'll be needing bricks if i can find them by the way hang on I, let me finish telling you the materials first pillar quartz block birch planks oops, quartz stairs quartz slabs quartz block smooth red sandstone stairs Smooth red sandstone slabs and smooth red sandstone blocks. Now, start the front left hand corner and count inward diagonally by one and place one brick. Move up with four pillar quartz block. Billy trying to get into my videos again. On the left and right, you want to place an upside down quartz stair. And you want to place birch planks on top of all of these. Bring this birch plank across by 26. Now this is towards the right. If you're working from the left side, you can work from the right side. You just will have to reverse what I say at the moment. Place an upside down quartz stair facing towards the outside. And then you can place pillar quartz behind that connecting to the ground, except for one block left, which should be a brick. Place an upside down quartz stair on the other side. Oops. And you can bring all of these birch planks backwards by fifos. Yes. Now, for those of you who have not noticed yet, there are new textures in the game for console. Console? What? Uh, console? I don't know why I said console, but... <laughs> now, for those of you who have built my old tutorials in different textures, do not panic, or if you, if you do it on the console like I do, for those of you who just got the new textures, don't panic. I took a quick fly around the world to make sure... Yep, my mic's working. To make sure that none of my builds looked off or just something was wrong. I feel like there was one thing that I could find, but I can't remember it. Okay. Once you've done that, you want to place, I need to count this. Four rows of virtual blanks on top of all of this. I believe it's four. I gotta double check. Yep. Do it on the front left and back. Now, okay. Back to what I was talking about. The, I did not check any of the interiors. Or the house tutorials. I'm 100% positive that the houses are okay. Because they all, well, the textures for the houses, like the concrete. The concrete's didn't change. The quartz looks better. And so does the wood. So does the woods. 
Like, there's my second oldest tutorial right there. You can kind of see it really does not look much, doesn't look any worse. Excuse me. But, so yeah, don't, don't be really that worried about it. You can also fill in the roof of this with birch planks. The most concerning part would probably be mm, the Waffle House. If you have built that, the letters look iffy. So I'm sorry. Can't do much about it again. Texture changes can either be good or bad. And again, if if you do play on console and you do not like the new textures, there is a free texture pack that Mojang has nice, or I think it's 4G Studios or whatever, has nicely decided to put. So, okay, now place quartz slabs on the right, left, and front. Going around, one well. Mojang has decided to, 4G Studio, sorry has nicely decided to put a default texture, or the original Minecraft textures into the game still. Once you've done that, you should have a little something that may look like this. Well, it should look like this. If it didn't, you should probably check what you have done and what I have said. Now, come to the front left-hand corner of this without further ado, and you want to move inwards diagonally towards the right by one, and you want to place three court block of quartz moving up. Place a quartz stair facing into this on the bottom block, and a quartz slab coming up on the top block. Leave a one block gap, and you want to place two back-to-back -back quartz stairs. Place upside down ones on top of those to make a circle. Now place an upside down quartz wood stair, er, quartz stair, god dang it, I'm doing the wood bend again, facing towards the G, and you want to place another one to the left. There is GA. Leave a one block gap and place two block of quartz. Place a quartz stair on top with a quartz block behind it. Downward, down diagonal by one, up diagonal by one. Place a quartz stair facing away from that and two going down. Connect this middle one down. Now you have gam. <coughs> Leave another one block gap and you want to place a quartz stair facing away from the M. Place a quartz slab into that and you want to place two quartz stairs facing towards each other. Place slabs on top. Now you have a game. Hey, anyway, I'm playing a game. From that, you want to leave a one block gap and you want to place a smooth red sandstone slab. Place a stair facing into that with, with a slab on top of the stair. Place a stair on top of the slab and two slabs on top of the stair slash slab. Don't place it directly on the slab because that'll happen. <coughs> yeah, excuse me, I don't know what's happening to my voice. Leave a two block gap from the bottom of that, and you want to place two red, smooth red sandstone blocks with a slab on top. Place two slabs going left and right from the top half of that second block. My lip is hurting. I'll get to that in a second, though. Leave a technically a one block gap from the thing, two from the bottom, and you want to place two sandstone stairs back to back. Place two more on top of that that are also back to back. Leave a one block gap and you can place one smooth red sandstone block. Place two back to back stairs on on top of that like that and place two slabs on top of that. Once you have done that, that is step one complete. Now you can get rid of everything and you want to ha actually get have birchwood planks and quartz slabs just shoved in your inventory. So the materials we'll be needing for this next part are sandstone, black stained glass pane, black stained glass block, acacia doors, and you can actually bring out the birch and the quartz slabs, and that is literally it for this next step, which is basically doing the rest of this. Okay. Come to the left, to the back left hand corner of this birch blank section and you want to bring it down with sandstone. Move right by six, connect up, and connect back left. Fill in this five by three gap with black stained glass pins. And there's one window. 
Come back to the bottom right hand corner of this and move over by six. Pardon me, what has happened? Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Yeah, you do want to go left by six. Go up till you touch the birch, then go left. Now you want to fill in this empty gap with panes again. I got myself confused. Come to the left of this, and you want to place three black stained glass blocks moving upwards. Go right by two and connect down. In this open gap, place an acacia door. Place two as a sandstone on top of all of this, and one to the right. Come to the bottom of this row to the right, and you want to go left or towards the right. Pardon me, by six. Connect up, and connect back left. Fill in this open gap with panes. And you want to go right by six from the bottom. Connect up, go left, and fill in the gap with panes. You should, oops, you should get how this works. Now. The right side and the left side are different by a whopping 15 blocks. So come to the bottom right hand corner of the, well come to the, the right, bottom right hand corner of the, technically the front right, the right side of the front and move backwards with six sandstone. Move upwards by four and connect forward. Fill in this gap with panes. Now, moving backwards from this, you want to place 16 rows of sandstone that are as tall as this. Yesterday I dropped my phone on my face. And my face still hurts. Embarrassing story of the day. And yesterday I almost got my freaking boot, new boots caught in mud. Hmm. Now come to the back and you want to move towards the left side, I suppose, with 28 rows of sandstone on there all this tall. I just want to give a quick thank you to everyone who has helped me to, the, to reach this lovely little milestone of mine that I like to call 40 subscribers. I appreciate everyone, all 40 people who have come onto my YouTube channel and clicked the subscribe button. Don't usually say that, but you know, I appreciate it. And I thank you because I couldn't have done this without you guys. Now let's shoot for 50. Okay, move forward with nine rows of sandstone. Remember, you're moving back forward. Oh yeah, seems like my goal of 30 by Thanksgiving has been blown out of the water. You wanna connect this bottom row forward and you wanna split, in, split it in half. There should be five blocks open on each side, yes. You can bring it up and then bring the top oil across as well. And fill in these two empty gaps with black stained glass pane. Now, for the part where you guys could really debate on what you would like to do, you could leave this like this and fill in the roof with sandstone. Maybe your best option, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I like it. <laughs> so you want to take the, the bottom left-hand corner of the birch, and you want to bring it backwards until it goes one further than the second window. Just like that. You can make it only go to the first window. How would that look? I don't know. Let's, let's actually do one side and see how it would look. Cause I don't really know. I haven't experimented like at all. Yeah, that's probably your best bet. That's what I'm going to do. And then, hmm. Okay. I have an alternative. Ooh, do I have an alternative? I do not have an alternative. 
Okay, so the way I designed this building is a little bit dumb because the way I have designed the interior, it kind of has to be this length or longer. Or you could switch it up a little bit. I don't know. You gotta play with it, honestly. And then you just want to bring it across. I don't really know how it would look. If you really wanted to, you could, like... I don't know. If you really wanted to do... Play with it. Let me know which one you think is better. Like, what's my best option here? Because I'm a little bit confused. Also, always leave tutorial suggestions. If you have any. I really am looking for suggestions right now. Because I believe I have th four. And two of them I'm hesitating on doing. For separate reasons. Although one of them I'm going to do. I'm not sure about the other. I'm, I was actually debating on not doing the other one. You also do want to fill any roof with this section. Okay, the more I look at it looking like this, the more it grows on me. Like, at first I liked it, and then I didn't like it. Now it's growing on me again. I don't, I don't understand. It doesn't look really good from the back. That's the only angle, but let's be honest. Who's going to be looking at this building from the back? Oh, gosh. You know what? The way I have the streets laid out in the in my town where I'm building this, it's going to be a frick ton of bad. Because people are going to look... Oh, yeah, place the quartz slabs on top of the outside. Hand and color quartz wood. People are going to be looking at the back of this, if this was a real world, and be like, eh. But, you know. This tutorial may actually be one of my longer tutorials. It is, com it is a complete square of the building, which is interesting. Although not the actual building part of the building. That's a 29 by 20, I believe. No, it's not 29 by 20. What am I saying? It's 20 by 23, I think is correct. Yeah, I think that's correct. 29 by 23. Why did I say 20 by 23? I don't know. Numbers don't work for me anymore. Also, once you've done this, you can fill in the back part of the roof with smooth sandstone blocks or slabs. I'm going to do slabs. Or you could also do normal sandstone. Which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't know why. You know what? Vocab's not working for me today. That's all I have to say. I need a break. <coughs> For my spring break and in my school, I only get off Friday and Monday, which is not very nice. Mm, so yeah, I don't appreciate that. And obviously Saturday and Sunday because that's a weekend, and Easter is that day. And I will probably I don't know I will try to make a video. No, I want a normal sandstone again. Put slabs on top. Or you don't even need to use slabs. I'm just going to use slabs because that's the way I had it. That's the way that I'm going to do it in order to make the ceilings one block taller. Oh, excuse me again. I'll tell you what, drinking water makes you burp a little bit. <coughs> Good lord, my voice is dying. I have a hockey game to watch in 40 minutes. What am I going to do between the time that I'm finished this and the time of the hockey game? Lord knows. <clears throat> I'm going to be watching the Capitals play. My favorito hockey team -o. I caught nine tadpoles yesterday. I think I, I don't know if I said eight last time or if I even mentioned it, but I had, but I caught nine. Is the exact number. And it's interesting because now I technically have 13 pets, soon to be 14. My fans about it. Mm -hmm. No. No thanks. Okay. Once you have done that, we have a couple steps to do. That is the exterior complete. I will be showing you the interior, is what I should have said. Well, that's what I said now. The tools you'll be needing are smooth sandstone. First planks, glowstone, or sea lanterns, personal preference, or lanterns, you could use those too. Normal sandstone, spruce doors, birch doors, and a little bit of block of iron. You probably can feel right and like right wool. Hmm, forgot about that, that's an important one. 
come inside and come to the front, uh, the left hand corner, and going towards the right, you, in line with this Bertrand Planks. Oh, Toronto Ford, Nazim Kadri is spending for the rest of the series. You want to go from left to right, and you want to place uh, two planks, two glowstone, two planks, two glowstone, two planks, two glowstone, three planks, two glowstone, two planks, two glowstone, two planks, two glowstone, two planks. Going backwards, you from one of those glowstones, you want to place or sea lanterns. One glowstone, two planks, two lights, two planks, two lights, two planks. The reason I reworded it to lights is because, well. Hang on one second, I've noticed a mistake I think that I made. Nope, I, nah, I'm just dumb. Okay. That's an alternative. Now, see what this birch is here? You need to bring it down to the floor as well with sandstone on every row except for on the second row. You want to bring it down until there is a two block gap from the floor. This will be marked out as a room called, um, it's pretty much a break room. I did not interiorize the break room, it is just, because I really don't have experience with it. However, I will instruct you on what you should put in it there. Because I'm only a 12 year old and I don't have a job. Or is this my job? Twilight Zone. I already watched the Twilight Zone. Am I just that weird kid that has? I really like the new glowstone texture, by the way. In case you were wondering. But does anybody watch Twilight Zone anymore? Like, my, my dad loves it, and he has all of them on DVD, and I might as well, you know, watch them. In black and white. For those of you who watch it, did you hear that they're bringing it back? The show? And we'll see if it's any good. Last time they tried that, apparently my dad said it wasn't good. Maybe they should make it black and white. Oops, like the originals. <coughs> yeah, sorry about my voice, guys. I don't know what's... I honestly do not know what's happened to my voice. My voice has decided that it has wanted to leave me. I tell you what, whenever I make videos, my voice just seems to be like, huh, bye. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, guess I'm gonna have to deal with you, deal without you for the whole video. I'm gonna talk about the tadpoles while I'm doing this. Also, once you're done this, you can replace the floor with light gray wool gosh dang it i'm a little bit do not replace the the back area though however you can replace inside the doorway for a good reason I'm gonna drink a swiftness potion for this part. For the placing. Anybody heard that buzz like 40 seconds ago? It's my phone. I got a text message. 
So anyways, about the tadpoles. This is an interesting thing because this could be a lifetime thing. Because let's say these tadpoles go into fogs, because I have nine of them, and I got them from two separate little ponds. So let's say I got some girls and some boys in there. And let's just say after that, you know, got a little bit of stuff, interesting stuff going on. And then once that happens, all heck breaks loose. And then we get little eggs. And then those eggs turn into tadpoles, and those tadpoles turn into frogs, and those frogs might mate, and then those, and they have babies, and then the babies have babies, and yeah, it's gonna be a never ending process. Which is why if I have kids, they're gonna have fun taking care of frogs. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. It's not likely, but it's possible. Okay, come into this, you know, come to the doorway, and you wanna place this blue store in it. And come inside and you want to count to the 11th block. I think that's it. And you want to place a sa two sandstone. Pardon me, I think it's one actually. Oh, I can't see. Hang on, guys. Yeah. And you want to and you want to place a birch door on top of a block of iron. Then you want to place five, not three. I did a little something wrong here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see, I think. I think I see, I think I does the C's. Yes, I does the C's. I think. Okay, we'll just have to do a little bit of an adjustment. That's fine. No, what? We did it right. I'm confused. Unless we does something wrong. I think we does something wrong. Hang on guys, this is gonna take me a sec. Well that seems to be correct. That lines up. That lines up. the process I'm going through here. Yeah, that's this. Oh. Ha. Me being the idiot I am made this window six blocks. That's an issue. For any of you tutorial people who have ever had mistakes, that's kind of how you have to go into it. This does, it doesn't matter that much, it's okay. I just have to add another, an extra layer to this wall and destroy the original one. It's not that hard. But do you, do you want to count the... So the... Mm, it's one sandstone, one door, five sandstone, one door, and one sandstone, I believe. And then you can extend all these sandstones up to the wall. I do really apologize about that. Again, what you did is more accurate than what I did. And this also, since you you guys did it right, I think, because my instructions were not cl as clear as what I did. I just did a miscount or something. So yeah, you should have a little bit of a different look than what I do. Because, yeah, I made a dumb air and that's my fault, not yours. So, come... In every corner, you want to place a glowstone. 
and you want to find the center two blocks, which I think are these two. Yes. And you do want to place glowstones in them. Then the rest of the sand, the ceiling wants to be smooth sandstone. If you guys didn't make that error, then, well, it's not that bad. Because it really, like, it can be either way. It's just the bathrooms would not be symmetrical. So that's a thing. Oops. You can also play them. You can replace this floor with light gray wool. Thanks, Classic Game 05. She said, by the way, she said, nice stream. I had to point that out. Yeah, I had to point out. She said, nice stream. I was wondering if you can subscribe to my channel, please. I will look at it once I am done this. I'm not gonna freely subscribe to people unless, like if people ask, I will look and if it's good, I will. But if it's a trash YouTube channel, like I've discovered some, not saying yours is, yours could be good. You're a rabbit, yeah, you do look like a rabbit. I am a turtle, <laughs> truth be told. Yeah, I won't just subscribe to people. Their channel, their content has to be good or really cringy because I like cringy. Inside the bathrooms, oh yeah, you might want to split them in half first, so that, you know, how you have the five here, the middle block should be the third one, and you want to split it directly down the middle. You could have two doors to one bathroom, but that would just be interesting. Unisex bathroom? That's actually a thing, I think. Yeah, that definitely is a thing. Gender. Other. Hey, no one said that's not one. Okay, come to the front and you're going to place along the ceiling s a smooth sandstone. It's in the middle too. Two glowstone, two sandstone, two glowstone, two sandstone, two glowstone, two sandstone, etc. Until you end on one sandstone of the smooth variety. I mean, you could make a normal sandstone. I just think the bottom of it is a little bit ugly. Like, that's kind of ugly. No offense, Dan. <laughs> sandstone, you're a perfectly good looking block. It's just your underside, not so much. I actually like the original texture of it better because it had, had a more blocky feel. Rather than a, I don't even know, circular look. Is it circles? Well, I guess that kind of removes my whole brick theory on it. What do stone bricks look like? Awesome. Wow, mossy cobble is so cool. Getting off task. We place both the bathroom floors with block of iron. Another thing about this is that kind of gives you a hint on what it is. Unless you want to make the floor something different, I do like iron for my bathroom floors. If you are doing this in survival, it would probably be best advised to use something else. Because this would be a heck ton of iron to find. Place, place both of them, and yeah, no one wants to do that much iron digging. Like, at this point, it's like, geez, where are you finding all that iron? Unless you're, like, rich on diamonds and you're, like, bathing in them every day, then, and you have a lot of iron, then, yeah, maybe you could use it. But, again, anvils and hoppers, and if you're a redstone magician, yeah, hoppers. <laughs> Not to call it any name. <coughs> Mambo. Sorry. Anyways, you could blaze lanterns. I actually did on the original. I will tell you where I placed them, too. I placed them here. And here. In these centers. Pretty much. So, I did not, again, I did not design an interior for this part, but I would, you should probably put like a couch, a table, a TV, and then these, these are bathrooms. I also did not design them because I'm lazy. 
Okay, for this part, I need my picks of Pictor. Oh my gosh, I have 12 messages. That's a lot. Which one is it? It's going to be these. So, the materials you'll be needing for the interior are quartz stairs. Well, I guess step two of the interior. Block of quartz. Mm, stone brick stairs. Quartz slabs. Black stained glass block. Spruce trap doors. And I think that is it. This does not require very much. So, you can come to the front left hand corner, I suppose. And, well, let me find a different picture. This is the picture I want. Come to the back right hand corner, actually, and you want to count towards the front by one, you want to place three quartz stairs facing towards the wall that are on top of each other. You want to place a quartz slab on top of that and move right by four. Now place normal facing quartz stairs touching down to the ground. In this empty gap, place black stained glass block. Now, this is where they would store the consoles. Just keep that in mind. Come to the left of this, and you're going to place quartz blocks moving all the way to the ceiling. Then, this is where we have to abandon this for a second, because I don't have numbers proper. You're going to have to come over here, and you're going to want to leave a one block gap and place an upside down quartz stair facing towards the front. Move it all the way around until you're one block away from the, from the glass, and you can curve it again. Come to the other side, you want to f have a quartz stair facing away from it that's upside down, and you want to bring in a cross and backwards by one, and then have it curve again. You want to leave a two block gap from it, and right here you want to place a spruce trap door. And let me find the picture, because I have a lot of pictures. Then you want to place ten block of quartz moving towards the right. And then connect back to the wall and take this block up to the ceiling. Now place an upside down quartz uh, upside down quartz stairs going all the way from the bottom row across to the other one. You're gonna place another one at the third row up. And the fifth slash final row up. That is on um, that is the shelf where they would store video games and such. And going to the right of this. And you place seven black stained glass block. And it does want to go all the way up to the ceiling. And you want to have a row of quartz to the left of it. Now place two stone brick stairs. Excuse me. Here. Those are going to be calculators as I like to call them, but they are actually cash registers. Don't know why I call them calculators, it's just a weird habit that I forget that they're called cash registers. How have I gotten out of it? Um, okay. Now, you want to come to the left here, and you want to leave a two block gap, and you want to place ten block of quartz. You should leave a three block gap from the um, video game shelf here. And you can bring this up until you are one block away from the ceiling, which is four blocks. Yeah, I actually didn't see that mistake. Mistake land. And you want to place upside down quartz stairs on the second and third rows going all the way across. Don't do it on the sides unless you would wish to. This is the shelf where they would, you know, have plushies and stuff. Or little gaming knicks, knickknacks, and that sort of stuff. Did I place it there? I did not. And once you have done that, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that is your GameStop complete. So hopefully, you guys did enjoy this tutorial. This GameStop might be a little bit ugly. You are? Did you do that, YouTube? They really didn't appreciate that. Dang, roasted. Anyways. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video as I saved this into the playlist as usual. Have a fantastic rest of your day or the night. 
And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.